to him as Persona the Masked. And then there were people like my sister, who's still missing. Mission coordinates. Be ready for the unexpected as you carry out your mission. Oh, hello there. It's been a while. Where am I? I'm not here at someone's request. Before I realized anything was going on, I was here. I think I must have been brought here. Like in the various reports heard recently. But I've been looking for this place, so I suppose it isn't exactly a failure. In all likelihood, this is the work of the False Spawn. Or someone working with them. Though, I don't exactly have any interest in why they're making the replicas. What I'm interested in is that someone saw Dark Falls here. I want to verify the authenticity of that claim. That is all. It would delight me if you'd accompany me. You won't hurt my feelings if you say no, however. After all, I'm not worth worrying about in the first place.
Emergency! Code Claude! all spawn much more strongly here. If Master Gedimholt were here, I bet he'd have a fun time running amok. <laughs> I miss spending time with him. It hasn't been long, but stuff like this makes me miss the old days. When I had first met Master Gedimholt, he was certainly ferocious, but not necessarily violent. Despite my being young, he always treated me well. And he wasn't disliked by others, including Master Zeno. But... the one who ruined it all... was me. What? Who in the world are you? No, wait... that can't be... is that... me? Ten years ago, the Fallspawn attacked, and Dark Fall's apprentice appeared to protect me, even though I had only just gotten there. And all I was doing was getting in the way. But that's not true! It's not! Let's... Let's keep moving forward.
Did you hear all the stuff that imposter said? Please forget all that. It's all in the past. Things that happened ten years ago, and Master Gedimhold changing. What's done is done. I wanted to be like my sister. To be just like her. <laughs> you again? They died, protecting me. They all do in the end. Anyone who gets close to me. Just shut up! Just shut up! Yeah, people who get involved with me wind up dead. That's why no one does. But even so, I was happy. Because with everyone dead, I could be the only one at Master Gedimholt's side. But that's not... I wanted to take my sister's place. To be what she was. That's why I ignored everyone's warnings. About it being dangerous. Shut your mouth! That's... That's not even remotely true! I had no intention for things with Master Gedimhold or my sister to turn out this way. I just loved how naturally the two of them would smile at each other. At those little moments. That's all I wanted. him to look at me more. To show him that I was as capable as my sister, that she wasn't better than me. Yeah, I wanted to be like my sister. To be able to go on walks with Master Gedimholt, smiling. But that dream will never come true. Because of what happened to my sister, ten years ago. Right in front of Master Gedimholt, everyone comforted me. They said that what happened was unavoidable. You say that, but I know better. Master Gedimholt and I know the truth. No, it was absolutely unavoidable. By which you mean, it wasn't a big deal. Master Gedimholt was left broken by what happened. Or rather, you broke him. That's why I can't be by his side. I can't allow myself to be. All of this is my punishment. Punishment for my greed. Master Gedimhold has become obsessed with revenge. And he'll never smile my way again. That's why I stopped being myself and I took on the identity of Sina. Destinies feel 
Pure. Dark Falls Elder. The one who took Master Geremholt. Give him back. What? I said give him back! Damn you! My apologies. I have caused all of you trouble yet again. I'd say this is my thanks to you, but this isn't nearly enough to express my gratitude. But please, it is yours. I'm fine. With the situation having been resolved, I no longer feel like I need to throw my life away to fix things. However, I'd like it if you wouldn't tell anyone about this. And I hate to ask for something after causing all this trouble, but could you remember something for me? Melrandia. That's my actual name. It's not ready to be heard by anyone yet. But it'd be nice if someone would remember it. Good day. Oh, good day, mate. As always, I'm looking for something. Seems like the only thing I ever find is you, however. 
Lately, it feels like something odd is going on, and I don't like it. It's hard to clearly place a finger on. Hmm... It feels... nostalgic? Or... a mite scary? You ever feel like that, mate? No? I guess it's just me? Uh, I really can't nail down this feeling. It's kinda good, but kinda bad. There's no sense in me worrying about it. Got to get back to what I was doing, which means back to my search. Catch you later. <laughs> hey there, Arksop. Yes, you. You look like you're having some trouble. No need to fear. For now, I am here. I can help fix any issue. So tell me, what's the problem? Hmm? You're not having any issues? No, that can't possibly be true. Wait, seriously? Hmm, well, that's no good. I wasn't expecting this. Guess I should find somewhere else to go. Hmm? Me? I'm Huey, sixth of the Council of Six. That's right, I'm a noteworthy hero. Everyone says I don't look the part, but honestly, this was pretty much inevitable. Almost mandatory. I mean, I still do the same things. I go around and help people in need, so it's all well and good to me. But you're certainly a surprising one you are. I hope to see you again sometime. Until then. <laughs> can you hear my sonorous voice? Of course you can. Huey, renowned hero of the Council of Six, has arrived. Hey, Arxops, keep your eyes glued to your monitors. I don't go hacking into monitor feeds just because I feel like it, you know. I'm here with an important message from the Council of Six. You all did a bang-up job in the fight against Dark Falls yesterday. Thanks to your labors, we were somehow able to repel it, which means we've won this round. So to commemorate the victory, we're going to be holding a fun event for you all. And it will be known as... The Arcs Tournament! I'll be running the details. Don't worry, I already have permission from Regius. We're planning on a magnificent affair to allow everyone to show how strong they've grown. I hope you're all already looking forward to it. And for now, I must bid you adieu. Oh, it's you. Hey, Rila. This is where you should greet them. A bit stiff, but good enough. Greetings are meant to put a person at ease. You should keep that in mind. That reminds me. Have you entered the tournament everyone's talking about? I heard it's going to happen pretty soon. It seems you have to have a partner in order to participate. You got anyone particular in mind? I don't really care about the tournament itself, but I am interested in how you do. Hmm. I suppose the easiest way to explain it would be as a contest of skill between ARC's operatives. I'm afraid I'm not really into that sort of thing. My dear Rila, 
Are you sure you're an oracle? Hey, mate. How goes your journey towards your goal? I'm not doing quite so well on mine. Though searching for someone randomly isn't exactly easy to do. No sense fretting about it, I wager. Say, you hear about the tournament they're holding? You gonna participate? I kind of feel like this isn't the time for that kind of thing. But I suppose it could be a good thing to have a bit of reprieve. I'm just about at my limit anyways. Hmm. If you're gonna join in, I suppose I will too. Who knows? I might have some sort of breakthrough during the tournament. It's decided. I'm gonna do it! That is, if it's okay with you, mate. The rules do state that you need a partner to take part after all. Well, catch you later! Feel free to invite me on the day of the tournament.